Hi, I'm Sverre from One Plugins. Today I'm about to show you three automatic equalizer that you can use on your master bus to dramatically improve your tracks even if they are not finished and not really polished as we're going to do today. I'm using a rough mix of a song uh, to show you how using these three equalizers on the master bus can dramatically improve the sound. We are talking about Harmonic U, 31 Mark II, and Slick. Each of these equalizers has a different purpose, and each of these one increases the quality of your final mix. The first one we are going to use is Harmonic U, uh, which is tailored at removing inharmonic frequency in uh, uh, any sound, uh, so it makes it sound less harsh and more uh, high quality. Then we have 31 Mark II, which uh, reduces uh, frequency masking between adjacent bands, and these also make it sound more even and uh, more uh, consistent across different um, audio systems. Uh, and then we have Sleek, that is a dynamic resonance suppressor, so as soon as any resonance appears, uh, we tickle it with um, a dynamic filter to remove and reduce the resonances and make the track sound more high level and finished. So I will uh, jump into uh, the session and I'll show you the setting of any of these equalizer. So here we are, we are into our session and uh, the first equalizer we have is Harmonic U. This equalizer works in a very smart way. It first identifies and it analyzes, analyze your audio and first identifies the fundamental frequency, which is the lowest, highest frequency. And from there, it computes up to 60 harmonics. And for every of these harmonic, it tries to find if the highest peak is present uh, between uh, the fundamental and the first harmonic, second harmonic and third harmonic, and so on. If between these frequencies, there is any other frequency peak, this is going to be reduced because it's an inharmonic frequency. And uh, uh, inharmonic frequencies sound less pleasant and more harsh to the ear. So we are going to use the plugin very lightly, just 30% of amount because we are on the master bus. And if we increase the effect, it's going to sound unnatural and fake. So let's first let analyze the uh, let's first analyze the audio and see what comes out with. Sorry, I need to enable the plugin. Okay, so it found quite a bunch of inharmonic frequencies, and since we are in auto mode. I uh, learn uh, it listen to the audio then if um, the frequency content uh, does not change for at least 10 seconds uh, it gives takes for granted that it has finally identified the problematic frequency in your audio so there is uh, something uh, we know about this uh, uh, song there is a problematic frequency in the mid range something here which is due to the voice and then we have, of course, something over here, which is uh, the cymbals and the highest part of the drum kit all contains a lot of inharmonic frequency. And then we also have some weird resonances here in the bass region that has been uh, removed. Um, as I told you, we are, we are using just 30%, not more than 60 dB of reduction, because if I increase the level, you can hear how it sounds weird. So it's better to stick with the more relaxed value on the master bus. Going back to 30%, I'll let you hear the delta and then uh, the difference that plugin makes in the audio. So it has made the sound less harsh and more uh, smooth. 
so it's a more pleasant in my opinion now we move on to the next plugin which is 31 mark 2 and um, this plugin uh, splits the, se the signal into 31 bands and uh, analyze the content of every band comparing to the band uh, before and next if there is too much difference between uh, any of these bands the equalizer changes the amount of these sliders uh, so to reduce or increase the level of a band to make more even and uh, reduce the masking uh, given by the difference between uh, adjacent bands. So I will enable the static mode because I want to take a static um, picture of, the, of this equalizer. I will use a slow integration time because I don't want it to react on transient. I want it to react only on steady signal. We are on the master bus, so I'm not going to use uh, a fast uh, integration time. Average algorithm and default curve compensation. Let uh, the track play so the equalizer can process it. So, as I told you, I was aware of a problem in the 800 area. You see, we have a peak. This, is, this shows the input. We have a peak here that shouldn't be here. And uh, 31 reduced that uh, with uh, a slow, uh, a light equalization. It uh, never does anything drastic. Um, it's very light as an equalizer. And uh, we have also reduced something here in the mid range because probably there is some thing that doesn't work really well and also all around over here and it made a subtle but important difference um let you hear the equalization bypassed the equalizer bypassed and in so you can judge for yourself <laughs> Well, it definitely sounds more hi-fi and more high quality. And the last plugin is a Slick, which is a dynamic resonance suppressor, as I told you before. And it provides up to 50 uh, dynamic filters uh, that uh, gets triggered by resonances. And uh, I will uh, use the master sweetener preset because uh, it's already thought for, for the master bus and explain you briefly how the plugin works um, we have a two spectrum one smoothed one row that has been compared and if the row spectrum is uh, in any given point uh, much higher than the smoothed one we identify a resonance uh, the amount of smoothing is uh, set by the slick factor and uh, uh, you can choose the amount of filters they are going to use uh, it's now 50 um, you can use a lower and upper limit uh, frequency analysis. Um, the filter skew, uh, we set it to 10 because we want to reduce uh, resonances and, no, and not do a broad frequency change because this is, uh, this is already been done by the first two equalizers. And then we have attack and release time. I recommend you use uh, slow attack and slow release time, otherwise on the master bus you will definitely hear phasing and uh, then the amount of gain reduction which uh, is uh, set to 30 percent on this preset because we want to be light on the on the processing uh, to not create something that is artificial um i'll let you hear how the plugin sounds when it's enabled the delta and then i'll uh, um, enable and disable the plugin to let you hear the difference <laughs> So as you can hear from the Delta, uh, we are removing the resonances in the vocals I was uh, talking before. 
and uh, also uh, some harshness that appears when the snare hits and when the chord changes so it's uh, working on those parts and uh, i will bypass the plugin and then enable it again so you can hear uh, how it uh, in changes the sound it's uh, quite an important impact So it definitely uh, does an important job of cleaning up the audio, but to better judge the impact of all the, of the tracks, I will analyze the level of uh, the incoming track and uh, do a gain compensation on the master bus so you can listen with uh, the chain off and the chain on. <laughs> So we got negative 13.3 as a momentary peak and we're gonna normalize that to that level so we can listen with the gain compensated. <laughs> Okay, now that we have the master bus gain compensated, I will shut off all the chain and let you hear the row mix and then I'll enable these three equalizers and you can hear the impact they have. So you can clearly hear the difference they make and they bring the sound to a next to a new level. Um, it's more open, it's less congested in the mid-range, it's um, more professional and refined sound. And all we did was to select a preset, press a couple of buttons, and they did everything by themselves automatically. So these three equalizers uh, are available on our website, www.honeplugins.com. We are talking about Harmonic 31 Mark II, and Slick. For three, all the three of them, we have a demo, so you can try it out. And of course, I want to know if you like the, the plugins, if you will do something different on your master bus, if you think I did something wrong, uh, just give me all the comments here below and I'll happily reply and give your suggestion if you want and receive your suggestion. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video.